Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel, and thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. These messages are going to be for the month of March, and March is definitely going to be such a powerful, quickening energy, bringing in the cosmic rainbow energy. And we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about some of the things that you can look forward to. It's going to be a powerful month with the equinox as well as a lunar eclipse. We are going to be heading into energies that are really going to catapult us into our future, really going to help us to understand what's aligned and what isn't. So without further ado, let's get into them. Okay, and I do have some notes here, just so I don't forget anything. Um, first of all, we are going to be experiencing a lot of quickening energy. Quickening energy. So as we know, going through this journey, things have already been very accelerated. But we are going to experience even more acceleration. There's going to be new beginnings, definitely um, new life especially in the Northern Hemisphere. We're talking about spring energy. We're talking about seeds under the ground planted, right? We're talking about tending to seeds. We're talking about we're not seeing that growth yet with our own eyes, but we know there's a stirring. We know there's a stirring going on underneath the surface, and it's to be patient. It's to really tend to our growth, tend to our soul healing. So please remember, through these intense energies, through what you're going through, be very kind to yourself. Tend to your soul. Give yourself that time, that space to really feel things out, really be with yourself, and try not to rush or force anything because it's not going to help anything happen any quicker. We're already in a very quickened energy. So just know that you are supported and there is no need to rush. Yes, there is going to be certainly a dynamic shift that's going to be taking place in March. Now those future timelines are going to be coming in rather quickly. And those future timelines are potentials. So just keep that in mind. We can never know concrete future, even when I do readings, channelings, medium readings for clients. Uh, we could never really tell what the future is going to be set in stone because it isn't set in stone. But based on your energy now, based on your trajectory of where you're going now with your energy, um, what you've accomplished so far, what your frequency is, what your vibration is. This is what's going to tell you uh, what those potentials are, what would be coming in based on that, based on that energy, that trajectory. So it's important to realize that, but pay attention, pay attention to some of the signs that you're getting, some of the uh, visions that you might be getting, some of what you might be hearing or feeling, even uh, some things that are going on in the dream space, pay attention to that. Uh, because they are trying to, they, the higher beings of light, your team source, your higher self, they're trying to give you clues. They're trying to give you insights to having you understand what that future potential looks like now. But it's coming in really, really quickly. Our destinies are really coming in. Uh, what is aligned for us? So if you've been attached to what hasn't been aligned, um, we'll talk a little bit about that later but you are going to be becoming a lot more aware of that. And by you becoming aware of that and noticing it and then taking action to release it, it's going to bring in what is aligned, of course. So power will be extraordinary, they say. Power will be absolutely extraordinary. So just be aware of that. Um, some of the subjects that are coming in, now we talk about cosmic rainbow energy. The cosmic rainbow energy is truth, truthfully about joy. It is about abundance, love, the best of everything. If you think of like, say I have the leprechaun and the gnome back there and um, say Patty's Day, we think of the pot of gold and we think of the rainbow, it's right, it's 
wow, it's, it's the best, it's everything I've dreamt of, right? Wishes come true. And that's the kind of energy. That's the kind of energy, that wheel of fortune also energy that has that availability now. And a couple of the subjects, we have power, right? So we have power coming in. Now, anywhere where you have been disempowered, this is going to be made known to you. Just like it has been throughout your ascension journey. When we talk about the eclipse, right? This is really heightening things, equinox heightening, lunar eclipse eclipsing out. You are going to be shown a lot, right? Um, your power. So where you have been giving your power away or believing that you're giving your power away, where you have been holding on to different belief systems, programming, stories, maybe they're from your ancestral lines, perhaps they're from your karmic times, right? And you're holding on to that and it's blocking you from becoming your highest version, from really aligning with your true soul, your true power. You're going to be made aware of that. If there are any patterns or behaviors or addictions that have been blocking you, anything that's been fear-based, uh, anywhere where you might feel uh, rejected in the world or abandoned in the world or not good enough, where you feel like that you don't have enough to give, not enough value, or perhaps you've been placing value on the wrong things, the wrong people. Um, again, this is going to be made very, very um clear to you and you will be redefining many of you will rede redefine what value means what success means what worth means okay um a lot of the collective has been struggling with security fears and lack of consciousness so again when we are disempowered when we feel that we don't have enough value when we feel that we don't have a voice in the world when we feel like we just can't win in the world, when we're holding on to these types of stories and these belief systems, right? It's, it's cutting us off. It's cutting us off from source. Source, which is always flowing, that infinite abundance always coming from source. So just be very observant as to what thoughts are coming up, uh, where there are fears, where you're feeling insecure about yourself, where you feel, um, that there aren't possibilities for you and being able to clear that, being able to bring in something new is going to assist so much so that way you can be on the same frequency of what you're trying to attract, right? Because many of us, we wanna set intentions, we try to manifest, but we're actually not within the laws of resonance. It's not coming in. Why is it not coming in? Because we are not the same vibration as to what we want to attract. So it's really important to realize that like attracts like, okay? But again, don't push, don't force, don't try to rush your growth. Just become aware of what's coming up. This is all for your highest benefit, okay? There's gonna be a lot of pulling out those blockage roots so we can plant those seeds, okay? Um, anywhere where you have felt like a victim, this is important to know too, where you felt trapped, anywhere you feel as if nothing's ever going to change, right? Nothing's ever going to change. The world's never going to let me be who I need to be. Um, I'm never going to be able to make any money from doing my passion. Um, all of that self-sabotage, that is blocking you. That is blocking your value. That's blocking your worth. That is blocking your true light, your true power. So, again... Be aware, and if there's any self-judgment or any self-blame, um, judging others or, ju or blaming others as well, again, be observant with that. We're going to be getting a lot clearer with our intentions, okay? So remember I said that we do have to be on the same frequency as what we're trying to attract. If you're not clear as to what you truly desire, what you truly want in your life, um, a lot of clearing out these old stories and old beliefs and old emotions that come with it and patterns and behaviors and addictions, you will then be able to have more of your own soul light. You will be able to connect more with the divine mind. So your higher mind connected to the divine mind. You will have clarity as to who you are, more clarity as to why you're here. 
Okay, and then you can be able to shape those intentions where everything's in alignment. So that is beautiful. So if you are a bit confused at this time, your ego, your mind is kind of taking you in a lot of different directions, just relax, go with the flow, go with the processes, you will become more clear. And just remember that everything is about divine timing. The cosmic rainbow of abundance, happiness, and joy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, now, the happiness and joy is totally a part of the journey. And this is important to mention because this is going to be coming up in March. So many people have been very exhausted by the journey. I completely understand. It's been clearing and healing after clearing and healing and layers coming up and feeling okay for a little while just to just just go back into the lower again. It's, it's a lot. Um, and we start getting disenchanted with the journey thinking, oh my gosh, what did I sign up for? <laughs> this is way too much. I can't handle this any longer. I'm not sure if I want to, right? And this is a definite sign that there is certainly imbalance and many of us begin to forget or have forgotten for a while that joy and happiness and play, those simple pleasures in life are absolutely a part of the divine experience on earth. Okay, so as we wake up and we go through the shadow and we're deep in it, we start to feel very isolated things that we loved used to, they fall away, people fall away, right? And we start to feel like we're losing ourselves, right? We're losing what we no longer need. We're actually shedding the ego. But um, it can feel very, very dark. It can feel like a prison for a long time. And the journey is meant for us to shed that ego, but we are meant to experience the joys of being human. So even though we're on this spiritual journey, we're on this angelic starseed ascension journey, it is absolutely a part of the journey to bring this higher energy in and ground that energy, ground that happiness, ground that joy. So don't be surprised if you start having parts of yourself that used to play or be very, very creative, don't be surprised if those things start resurfacing, that you start rediscovering yourself, right? And it's, that's a great part of the journey um, and a very necessary one. And this cosmic rainbow energy will be assisting with that joy, that happiness, that play coming in. That way you can experience Right? You need a rest. You need that um, feeling excited, um, that excitement of just living, right? Instead of just, you know, to the grind of, of doing all this spiritual work. So I definitely received that. I know that I've already been experiencing some of that already, um, depending on where you are on the journey. But this rainbow energy, cosmic rainbow energy, will be bringing that in. Uh, the 25th, right, we have this lunar eclipse. It's going to be in Libra. And this particular eclipse in Libra is going to be very focused on partnerships, friendships, socialism, balance. Okay? So there is going to be a lot of the love theme, a key amount of love you worry for February, but there's going to be a lot of the different themes of love and intimacy that are going to be coming up with this lunar eclipse in March. So be aware of that. So anywhere where you are still courting with uh, past partners, where you're holding on to hurts and pains, where you're holding on to old relationship beliefs, blocking beliefs, um, where there's been distortions with intimacy, uh, and passion. These are going to be coming up also. A lot of these different relationship beliefs, we receive that from society. Society has helped to shape that. But of course, 
like anything else, we've learned them also from our ancestors. They've been passed down. And we have also gone through a lot of different circumstances in former lifetimes where there has been karmic connections, karmic actions, uh, hurt and betrayal wounds, rejection, abandonment. Um, so much of this uh, energy has uh, the shadow parts of the uh, partnership have been brought up by the twin flame experience. So the twin flame experience has been able to mirror so much of what we needed to heal from that so that we can move forward. Um, so really be very gentle with that because having that old hurt or pain come up um, where it comes to wounds of the heart, just be as gentle as you can and nurturing with yourself. Um, for some people out there, there's been uh, guards over the heart, right? And we've talked about that before on this channel. And people have shut themselves off from feeling. People have been in distrust. Um, people have just had a lot of different issues surrounding love and partnership. And even with friendship, uh, having those really change right? Just not resonating with the same people anymore. But there is a soul tribe for you. There are new people to enter. And the message here is to also be very flexible with connection, very flexible as to how you experience connection, the past versus now, even for those of you who have had the twin flame experience or currently having it. Be very flexible with that, as non-attached as you can. You are shifting dramatically and very quickly. Um, some connections will not be staying. They may not be in alignment any longer. They might have brought the growth. They might have brought the lessons. They may have brought the karmic clearing, helping you to really clear the shadow and become very awakened and spiritual. But they may not necessarily be the connection for you to have that physical relationship with, if you know what I'm saying. So even though we've gone through so much intensity when it comes to connection, be very flexible with this, as non-attached as you can. Um, and just be aware of different issues such as ignoring emotional needs, codependency, holding on to expectation, where there has been toxicity with connection, um, where there has been self-sacrifice, runner chaser, where there has been attaching to labels. We've talked about that. Uh, really very important to tend to yourself and know that these changes, of course, must happen on the inside before you can have a very strong foundation for um, partnership and for friendships. So give yourself what you need because when you're giving yourself what you need, then that is certainly going to help you to reach this higher frequency where you can experience a sacred partnership. So whether it's a twin flame or soulmate, you know what? It, at this point of the collective, I'm gonna be very, very clear about this. It's gonna be really important for us to not get attached to the labeling right? And just be aware of what resonates, what doesn't resonate. Uh, be aware of what's aligned and what no longer is aligned. And let's just call it a higher partnership would be known as more of a sacred partnership or divine partnership, right? Because people tend to get caught up in those labels. So love, yes, will be this very big subject. And I know that it's going to be very surprising for some of you out there, a little confusing, maybe very confusing, but you are shifting and you are changing very, very quickly. Uh, someone that might have been aligned with you or maybe you have had future timelines with, things can change. People have free will um, and we have to respect that and just know that we are here to have beautiful cosmic rainbow experiences and have sacred partnership, right? We are here for that happiness. We're here for that joy, but to stay very flexible and very open as to what those experiences may be, what it may look like, right? What that physical layout might look like.
This eclipse will certainly redefine and help to align with high vibrational partners, friendships, yes, absolutely, soul connections, it, tribes, it will be more evident. Um, those that fall away, there will be new connections that will take their place. And please enjoy yourself, have fun. If you are drawn to getting out there and socializing or engaging in a hobby or just watching something funny, funny movie, um, doing something for yourself and you haven't done that for a long time and you're just completely exhausted, it's going to be time to do that. Okay? Take time for your soul growth. Because there are going to be so many amazing experiences. That pot of gold, that joy, um, those beautiful experiences, the good stuff. It's there for you. You're not forgotten. You are not. So just know you're not alone on this journey. And if you do need any assistance, if there are things that you are not sure about or you're not sure how to do the inner work, um, if you are not sure where you are on your journey or where you are with a, a connection that you are experiencing, I'm here for you, the ParanormalPriestess.com. I offer personal readings. I also offer very unique light language healing sessions. Uh, if you are experiencing psychic attack, I also do the spirit extractions, although I will not be doing spirit extractions uh, for the month of March into end of April because of just all of this crazy shifting. Um, I won't be continuing that until probably end of April, early May. So just be aware of that, but I am here for you. So please reach out if you are struggling because I would love to be able to assist you. The paranormalpriestess.com. And please remember, from the heart of the darkness is born the light. Brightest blessings, and I will see you all soon. Happy spring. Take care.